Hello, my name is Rob Garner. I'm a computer programming instructor, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to add a shared library project in um, your project. So I'm going to right click um, on my solution and add, and I'm going to add a new project. And what I want is a C sharp library, a class library, this one up here. And I'm going to call it hackerspace.shared. I'm picking .NET 8. And this gives us a shared project. And um, typically what I'm going to be placing in here are um, my model folder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that folder in here. There'll be other folders in here, but things that we will be sharing between the server project and the client project, if both of these projects need the same class, we'll put them in hackerspace.share. Now the next thing we need to do is reference this shared folder from the client and the server project. And the way you do that is you right click on the server project in this case and we can add project reference. And we're going to add, so right now what we're saying is, hey, Hackerspace, the server project, should be able to all see both client and shared um, libraries or objects. And then we're going to go to client and do the same thing. So we're going to add a project reference and notice that client does not look into the server um, project it doesn't need to but it does it will need eventually to see into shared so we're going to add that reference so both of these now can see anything that we create in shared so this class for example that the defaults here that one can be seen not going to use that so I'm just going to delete it and then um, I'm going to make sure that sometimes when you do these things, um, you lose track of which project is a startup one. It's highlighted, so I know it is, but um, set a startup project. We'll set that as the startup project and then just run it just to make sure that nothing was broken. And it's working still. And so eventually we'll be using this. So um, right now I've got it in this branch here. I'm going to mark added shared project library and commit it. And um, it's a good idea. And then what you can do is you can merge it into dev. merge this into dev and now you have this shared folder that you can use um, as we go on. Thank you.